Hi, today we'll have a look at how to use the decision matrix template. For the sake of this example, we've used the decision matrix to help guide us in choosing a company to work for. We'll start by hiding the top ribbon to have more space. Great. First, let's go into the settings page. This is where you can enter data lists to set up the tool. We first have the list of criterias, where we can add up to 10 different criterias. Let's add a new one we'll call Company's Vision. Perfect. The second table lists all the elements of comparison, in our case, the companies we're considering. Moving on to the Decision Matrix tab. The columns indicate our different companies we want to assess. The different rows indicate our different criterias. Our newly created criteria is blank. Let's fill it up together. We'll start with the weight. Let's set it as 5 to indicate this is an important criteria for us. We'll then set the ratings for each company. Great! Let's look at the total row. It gives a rating out of 5 for each element of comparison, indicating with an arrow the one with the best rating. And that's it! You know everything you need to know about our decision matrix template and you're ready to start using it now. Enjoy!